Hello children of standard 10. Today we are going to take the topic in Indian history, independence and partition of India. You know India was divided once upon a time under British. It was a large area composing of India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. But when the British left India, they partitioned India into two places, into two countries, India and Pakistan. Here we have to learn the Mountbatten plan clauses and its acceptance. Clauses are the base contents of the Mount Blatton plan. The Indip Indian Independence Act of 1947 clauses only. The demand for the partition of India. The British always pointed out the political unity that they created in India. Unfortunately, they did undid this unity by the end of their rule. When they were coming to an end, see at this time, British became a weak power after World War II. So they were not in a position to hold on to their colonies. And the funny thing is that a group of men from Cambridge brought forth the idea of having a separate Muslim state where the Muslim people are a majority. They even made the name Pakistan for the state Punjab, that is parts of Punjab, Afghan, Kashmir, Sindh and Balochistan. At its Lahore session in 1940, the Muslim League passed a resolution. Resolution is a doctrine of acceptance that the areas in which Muslims are numerically in majority should be grouped to constitute an independent state. That is places where Muslims are more number should be made into a separate country. Jinnah you know was the godfather of the creation of Pakistan. Instead of, instead of being laying down Hinduism and Islam as two religions, he said Hinduism and Islam are two countries and not religions. But Gandhi and other national leaders were the idea were against the idea of two nations. It was actually a conspiracy, a plan or plot that was devised by Muhammad Ali Jinnah to get a free country called as Pakistan. Lord Mountbatten took office as the Viceroy on 24th March 1947. He had been sent with a definite object, objective of transferring the power to India. Transferring means giving over. He had the advice, he had to advise the government of England which of the two plans should be chosen. The first plan was the one which preserved the maximum unit of India, unity of India, but gave the maximum power to the provinces or to divide India into two independent states. The situation in India became very tense. There were communal rights, rights between the Hindus and the Muslims. Mountbatten believed that it is better to transfer power soon. It was impossible to convince Jinnah. Jinnah was the advocate of the two nation theory, India and Pakistan, on anything other than independent Pakistan. Hence, Lord Mountbatten decide to partition India and transfer power. Here you can see the areas in green are those parts of India that have gone to pa Pakistan. You can see parts of Punjab, West Pakistan, Kalat, Gavadar extending all the way into Afghanistan. And again in the east you can see Bengal part of Bengal which became East Pakistan. It later on became an independent country called as Bangladesh. The Mountbatten plan. The partition of Bengal and Punjab, Bengal in the east and Punjab in the west provided was proposed, provided that the legislative assemblies of both the provinces decided in favor of partition. Now legislative provinces are legislative assemblies are constitutional machinery.
two, the existing constituent assembly will continue to function. You know, in India, we had a constituent assembly and that was its function was to make the constitution of India. But the constitution framed by Indians will not be applicable to Pakistan. The legislative assembly of Sindh was to take its own decision at a special meeting. Sindh is in Pakistan. In northwestern frontier province, a referendum, a referendum means putting the people to vote in favor or against something, a law or rule is called as a referendum. A referendum was to be held to decide the future of the province. The Mountbatten Plan. The Muslim majority district in Silhet was to decide by referendum whether to stay in Assam or it could join East Bengal. Silhet is now in Bangladesh. The treaty with the princely states would come to an end. You know, India had many princely states and at the time they were given the option to become independent or to associate themselves with India. But this did not take place as Sardar Wallabai Patel united and made the whole of India independent. The treaties with the princely states will come to an end. The treaties made by Britain earlier will come to an end. They could be free to associate themselves with the dominions or to remain independent. The plan provided to form a boundary commission to settle the boundaries of two dominions in case partition was settled upon. A boundary commission is somebody who decides on how the boundary should be, the boundaries between India and Pakistan. It was for the two dominions, India and Pakistan, to decide what relationship they want with the British Commonwealth. Now the Commonwealth is a group of countries who were colonies and now it was an association of you know exchanging culture and ideas with each other. You, know, you might know the British Council Library. It is no longer functioning. It was a part of the Commonwealth plan. In Kerala it was very famous once upon a time but sadly to say the British stopped it. The plan ended by stating that transfer of power would take place much earlier than June 1948. Acceptance of the plan. You can see a train loaded with people fleeing from their countries. Indians, Pakistanis, Indians in Pakistan going to India and Pakistanis in India going to Pakistan. The Muslim League officially accepted the plan on 10 June and the Congress accepted it on 15 June 1947. Freedom was at the doorstep, but the long cherished dream of Indian unity lay shattered. Historian Tara Chand, you can write this as a quote if you learn it by heart. None of the congressmen liked the idea of partition, but they had to accept it as a necessary evil which they did not like. Reasons why the common Congress accepted the plan. Communal rights. Communal means rights of being a religious character that is between the Hindus and the Muslims had taken a serious turn in India and partition seemed like a way out of chaos. Chaos means disturbance. The League joined the interim government to obstruct it. Interim government is the government that formed for creating the new India. The League joined this interim government to obstruct its functions and not to cooperate. It seemed impossible to go on with them. There must be either partition or an open war against the League. The only alternative to a partition was a federation with a weak center. Now federation you know is... As there are two governments, one at the center and one at the state. So if partition did not take place, there will be a weak center. 
a small India with a stronger center seem better than a big India with a weaker center. The leaders felt that partition would rid the undemocratic procedures. They could function as truly secular and a democratic polity. Secular means being free from the state does not have any official religion, but each individual is given the right to practice and propagate the religion of his or her choice. Democracy, you know, India is a democratic country because we the people elect the leaders of the country. The leaders felt that further delay in transfer of power could find India in the midst of a civil war. The Indian Independence Act of 1947 The Indian Independence Bill was passed by the British Parliament in 15 July 1947 and received royal assent on July 18th. It was a short document with 20 sections and three schedules. The main provisions were, the act provided for the creation of two independent dominions, dominions means two countries from 15th August 1947, and they were to be known as India and Pakistan. There would be a governor general for each dominion who functions as the constitutional head. The governor general could not act against the wishes of the ministers and the provincial governors were to act on the advice of their ministers. The constituent assemblies of the two dominions were to act as central legislatures. For make legislatures means governments like you have the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha for the purpose of making the constitution as well as other laws for the dominions. All the princely states would become independent. However, agreements concerning customs, transit and communication were to continue until they were denounced by the state or two dominions. Actually here you must know Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the Iron Man of India, he annexed all the princely states and made them all under the India as one country. The office of the Secretary of State was to be abolished. Secretary of State was from Great Britain. Provision was to be made to divide the Indian Army, sharing of assets and liabilities between the two dominions. Provisions were made to safeguard the interest of existing officers. Factors that led in broad, the factors that led British to quit India. Summary. Intense nationalism. You know, Gandhiji, when he became the leader of the Indian freedom movement, he became an absolute advocate of freedom and his struggles through and his campaign through non-violence and ahimsa finally worked in the end to make India a independent country. Indian, England had a weakened position after World War II. Because World War II drained the resources of England as a country. So they did not have the strength to run the colonies. Many world leaders pleaded for India's case for freedom. India was at the verge of a civil war and it was necessary to transfer power. Civil war is an internal war. The leadership of Subhash Chandra Bose and the INA was an important factor. Moreover, there were changes in the attitude of the defense forces which no longer wanted to oppress their own kith and kin.